Oh, welcome back. Uh, you're still in the game. Well, I had to record this last bit. Anyway, they, I think they really missed out not having any uh, credits music now. So I'm still stuck at, like, the credits, and I can go return to lobby, I guess. And that's it. So it was 4.1 through, uh... Through 4.7. Oh. And that was it. That was the end of the game. So what'd you think? What, of, of Scared? I guess. Um... Yeah, I mean, they improved on it. Like, it was a lot more... More or less, there were a lot less sections where we were like, okay, we have to, we have to, you know, stay in cover for like 10 minutes until we clear them. Like, most of the game was just, you know, smooth sailing. Uh, maybe one or two sections where we, we couldn't figure it out, where there was a glitch or something. But overall, they improved the gameplay and they, they made the story, you know, uh, understandable. Yeah, I'd say that the whole info dump you know, new cutscene that wasn't horrible compressed full motion video. That really helped explain everything. It's like, oh, hey, we're Scourge clones. What does that mean? It means we can be psychically controlled by queens, but but except we're we're not, because you know, techno babble. So that's I guess that's enough, and it explains all our visions, which was I guess how we turned on each other and killed each other before. That works, and. I don't know if there's any in-canon explanation for why Amp and Mass have that moving shield. But hey, they're the only ones with arm tattoos, so that's clearly the reason, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but like, how many times did they did they just die the first time, and then the second time that they were cloned, they turned on each other, and then the third time they figured it out? Or it was just like they died, and then they, they were cloned immediately? It would be hilarious if, like, they just went ahead and made it, like, the in-game explanation for how you're dying and restarting all this time. It's like, oh, uh, you, you had, like, a hundred different sets of clones made because you died and restarted a hundred times. Right? That's that's just how many of you have been going through here. This is, like, Resident Evil <laughs> films. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. We have these giant vats of dudes, and so uh, that would probably be enough, right? Yeah. I'm reminded of that uh, first episode of Bravest Warriors where like they get stuck in a time loop where they're always walking into this room and then getting killed. And so like at the end of the episode they, they open the door, look at the room and see like four sets of their dead selves in there and this time they just go, nope, and close the door and walk away. We're, we're not doing it. <laughs> we're not doing it. <laughs> it would be hilarious if there was some equivalent to that in the end, but it's like, nah, you know, we, we just, we finished the game, we killed the uh, not queen, and I guess we escaped the island. Um, and one thing that, that makes sense, I think, with his line that either I didn't catch before or it's new is like how he's saying, hey, you know, you can get off the island, apparently we're on an island, I guess that makes sense since we have to drop pot into it, but there's nothing left, and it's like, and then the scenes where at the end and also the intro movie, I guess, make more sense that way in that, like, the Scourge is just ripped across the entire world and everything's all post-apocalyptic hellish wasteland now. Maybe. Yeah, everything sucks apart from the island, and even the island isn't that great. Yeah, because, I mean, you have Ryzebeck going like, oh, hey, Queen, let's have a chat, and Queen's just like... <laughs> He's like, I totally understand you, totally understand you, Queen. <laughs> and, and he's doing this in, like, the most ruined building and green, you know, Fallout uh, wasteland. Uh, yeah, I mean, what does Ryzebeck get out of all of this? I guess he's just being mind-controlled, right? So he doesn't have an opinion on it. You know, but, but like, you know, why, but... why taunt us? Like, we did your job, you killed Lilith, shouldn't you be, like, grateful? Shouldn't you be, like... Hey, here, you know, have a car or a boat or a plane or a spaceship. Do whatever you want. I mean, right? Um, I I would we say no like we have no reason to fight. They should have like their whole perfectly executed plan. They didn't like they didn't think okay we'll have like a 
a heart attack system or something like will just immediately murder them off but I mean you know as well them they, they're like okay we're serving a queen and, and all that like maybe they could have went with it and just said it you know what else does the queen want us to do I mean they're clones but yet they still feel used yeah like we can't be psychically controlled by queens but the queen just had Rysbeck talk to us on the radio and I guess in a way it's Bioshocky though not as competent that you're always talking to this dude in a radio who sounds authoritative and you're just doing what he says and everything seems to check out and hey you know because that's what you do in video games right you listen to the dude on the radio who tells you stuff and oh hey he's yeah. using you right uh, I suppose so uh, I guess one but you never way, got I that vibe way... from the, uh, the the first like version of Scourge like no like the whole thing like you knew he was evil at some point and you're like, okay, this is an evil guy, I'm gonna go kill him. But when Bioshock became more like, you know, the whole, that whole mechanic in Bioshock became very popular. Now, now I suppose we're comparing it. Uh, yeah, everyone's gonna, you know, rip off Bioshock at some point, right? Like, every big game series has done it to some way or another. Uh, I guess you could say Spec Ops. Well, Spec Ops didn't have, like, you talking to a man in your ear the whole time until like halfway through the game but it still managed to make a twist out of it right so you could kind of just yeah, I mean you could kind of just... I I don't want to spoil it but I love that twist yeah no reason to are we it. still yeah, recording no reason. they're both third person man shooters just uh, both taking a bit out of Bioshock I'd say like one way I they could have like... made it work if they're like like we're not going to make a sequel anymore forget the episodes 1 and 2 out of 4 thing like they could have gone with the explanation of hey we're just constantly sending clones at Lilith until they succeed so after we kill Lilith and they're like you're disposable then we don't get any continues like if we go down then it just goes game over they could even turn it into like a Halo Reach ending thing or um, like whoever survives basically we get their ending you know like it's four endings based on whoever doesn't die and then one ending if everybody dies and one ending if everybody doesn't die yeah that'd be cool and like you could replay it would just be like one last thing of you know hordes descending and you gotta get to x door or i guess in this game it would have to be an elevator right yeah, yeah. now we're and, now we're yeah. approaching left for dead territory well i mean that's you know, they basically did horde mode defenses before, just no, uh, you know, X people get to the door or don't before. But yeah, that, that is, you're right, very Left 4 Dead-ish. But not in like, you know, you shut the door, it's like everyone makes it to the door or they don't. But the enemies would be significant enough in number that trying to run up and revive people wouldn't work very well. So like if someone falls down, you're better off just, kind of, you know, keep backing up and shooting, right? I just yeah, then, whoever makes yeah, it to the door. Yeah, and then you get the different endings depending on who makes it, like you said. That would be, you know, a decent way to do it, but effort. So they left the ending as it is with sequel bait and all. Still, like you said, they completed this story, which is great, you know? It, it's better, definitely better than Sin episodes or other episodic games that have left us in cliffhangers. Oh man, Sin episodes. Yeah. Half Life Episode 2. That's the biggest cliffhanger. Uh, wait. What episode? Again? Half Life 2, oh, Episode 2. Oh, you're right. That is the biggest cliffhanger of them all, isn't it? So, Episode 3 or Half Life 3 or whatever is going to continue it. Yeah, Valve's like. Mm, yeah. You know, these things take time. Whatever. But I mean, you know, Dota three. But I think what makes Half Life three, Episode three, whatever, a unique case, and that Valve was clearly not going under anytime soon. They are not in financial trouble. They are not like, oh well, Episode oh. two or Half Life two didn't sell, so I guess it's you know not going to happen. You know, it, it's like they could do it whenever they want to. They just don't want to. You know, it's yeah, different. Why? You know, Ritual, which went under and 
got bought by a uh, casual mobile games company. Yeah, or these guys were, I guess, they're not dead yet, but, you know, episodes three and four are just unlikely given how much this first one didn't, first two didn't sell. And, that That um, is a good question, you know, what are they going to do off their scared? Plus, you know, the Gears of War thing is kind of, kind of, well, I mean, they, they made three Gears games, you know, in this time it took them to make Scourge Project Forge. and then Pro- Outbreak and port it to consoles and the back to PC and everything. Uh, four, actually, if uh, you count Judgment. Yeah, yeah, four, basically. And three by Epic themselves, one by people can fly. And now Microsoft is having blocked us to make another gear, as all of that will take a couple of years, I'm sure. Uh, the funniest uh, thing is that Scourge Outbreak seem to come out at the same time as Fuse, and people care just as much about both games. I. It would be hilarious if Scourge Outbreak sold more, but then again, it's on PC too. I don't know how much that helps in this particular case. But PC it was only on really the 360 at the really time, count. and it took it took until this year to actually have it ported. Oh yeah, but PC doesn't really have a Gears, you know, Gears Gears. It has Gears One, Games for Windows Live, which isn't being sold anywhere anymore and will die with Games for Windows Live dying this year and that's it. Right? Yeah. So maybe this sort of knockoff, kind of bad knockoff of Gears did, oh, surprisingly okay on PC? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's... What they didn't expect was owners of uh, only Scourge Outbreak asking them for, uh, for, uh, Scourge episodes one and two. Like, the developers were like, "Why do you want that?" But we'll give it to you. But uh, we don't know why you want that. <laughs> you guys, you guys sure you want this? No, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, we want it. But ultimately, it's it's a good thing because um, I'm assuming this new version the is just Steamworks all the way. It doesn't use GameSpy, right? So at least it'll survive the death of GameSpy coming at the end of the month. I think. Yeah. I think. So I, I get, you know, they probably would have had, or not had to, but should have updated it anyway, right? And so they got that out of the way. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for playing Scourge uh, Outbreak. Outbreak. Uh, well, not, yeah. Not to be See you next with, time. Not to be confused with. It's named Outbreak, which there are a lot of. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying? Nah, I'm. I I pause because I'm trying to think of what else is called outbreak. But whatever, man. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, uh, oh yeah, that poor thing is gonna die. Uh, well, I mean, no, outbreak already died. City is Are you confusing it with uh, Operation Raccoon City? Yeah. Uh, Outbreak died and then sort of kind of got revived thanks to modders, so... Hey, you know... Only in Japan. Well, is it like only for the Japanese copies? Like it doesn't work with... Something like that anyway. Yeah. But still, that's, that's something. Anyway. Uh, thanks for playing. Thanks, thanks again for, for playing. playing. Yep. Uh, I'll kill Mumble. Sure. See you later. Bye. See Bye. You.